Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This seems like the biggest load of twaddle I've heard uh, in quite some time, but there may be some truth behind elements of it. So let's take a look. Apparently, Disney is going to be writing a letter of apology and offering Johnny Depp something like $300 million to come back to the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. So, again, a lot of that sounds like BS, doesn't it? Of course it does. Right? However, there might be some truth behind parts of it. Maybe not the quantities, the sums of money involved, parts of it. And this will be Amber Heard seething. But let's analyse this. Disney put up Johnny Depp's uh, visage, image, uh, as part of their big celebration, something which they don't normally do. They've started doing that again, playing his voice again, something which they weren't doing, which they now are doing. And then we hear this, right? Johnny Depp is a big star again. A big star. I think the mainstream media realises that. They did really try to push the Amber Heard victimhood nonsense still for quite some time post-trial. But it's not It's not happening. It's not happening. So how do you capitalise on this if you're a business? Will you get them back? You know, a big swan song. Massive. Get him back. Go out with a bang. And I tell you what, it could make a lot of money if he was choosing to do it. So I do think there's some elements of truth behind this. But I think by and large... Some of it's just, well, basically just utter bollocks. But let's take a look, ladies and gents. Hit subscribe if you're new here. And give the video a like. Um, but yeah, look here. Johnny Depp is set to return to Pirates of the Caribbean. And he's in talks with Disney about a $300 million deal. Now, his going rate is about $26 million. So $300 million is bollocks. <laughs> Straight away. No, that is that is absolute nonsense. Uh, and that's after the defamation trial win against Amber Heard, of course. <clears throat> but this is what I mean, like, to jump from, like, $25, 26000000 million, which was what he was getting, to $300 million? No. Not unless there's more in it for them. Long-winded, down-the-line merchandising rights, you know, quite a lot of stuff. Uh, Disney just doesn't, they, they actually don't have that kind of money to throw around. If you look at their stocks and shares, they're going down. They're not getting a return on the investment of their movies. Pixar, Buzz Lightyear uh, has just lost a significant amount of money. A lot of their movies haven't been making the profit that they should be. So $300 million is not going to happen. Now it could be that this is on the back end of the deal. Because we know that a lot of uh, big celebrities, big names, they'll get a big upfront sum. And then they make a lot more on the back end of their deal. So the you know ticket stubs, the, the amount of tickets sold will generate extra revenue, which will go into their pockets later down the line. So maybe it's that, but it's not completely clear. And also the source is, is nothing. Like we don't know who the source is, right? As in, we know who the source is. I mean, I've never heard of them before. You've never heard of them before. They're they're essentially a, a you know a nobody in this situation, I guess. So um, let's take a look, right? Let's uh, let's take a look at this. So Johnny Depp is reportedly set to return to the Pirates of the Caribbean after being dropped from the franchise in 2018. Depp was the major lead in five Pirates movies over the past 15 years and made what was thought to be his final voyage on the Black Pearl in Dead Men Tell No Tales, which was released in 2017. I mean, he is the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. He is. He is the Pirates of the Caribbean. Right? And they're gonna, if they come out with something new, no one's going to bother watching it. No one's going to care. But a source told uh, Pop Topic, again, that's the source, who the fuck is that, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the actors, but in talks with Disney, about a $300 million deal after winning his defamation trial against Amber Heard. $300 million, that's not going to happen. They don't have that kind of money to throw around. Not just for actors' fees. They don't. The insider revealed that Disney are interested in patching the relationship up with Depp and have recently reached out to him. They said they reached out to the actor prior to his defamation trial against Amber Heard and asked whether he would be interested in returning for another pirate film or two. The source added that another project is in the works for Disney+. Plus. They said the deal is reportedly for Johnny Depp to return as Jack Sparrow in Pirates of the Caribbean 6 and a spin-off Disney Plus series about the early life of the captain of the Black Pearl. Uh, and this source continued, What I can tell you is that the studio has already penned up a draft for a film about Jack Sparrow, 
So they're very hopeful that Johnny will forgive them and return as his iconic character. And again, remember, they have started randomly playing Johnny Depp, uh, Jack Sparrow stuff in Disneyland again. Just like, just randomly, which is massively disrespectful. I hope they pay him for it because he's using his likeness, uh, using his voice and things like that. So in terms of this $300 million deal, if, this, if, if $300 million covers two movies as well as a Disney Plus series, maybe that figure starts to sort of make sense, but still probably not. It's just an insane sum of number, uh, you know, some uh, figure there. It's, it's, it's not likely. Now, the source said that the media house uh, is working on a $301 million deal to coax Depp back soon and are also reportedly adding a sizable donation to a charity of Depp's choice as a gesture of goodwill. The Edward Scissorhands star previously told the jury that he would not work with Disney again after he was scrubbed from the Sixth Pirates movie. Yeah, and he said like, you know, a million dollars and a million alpacas or something like that. His legal team claims Depp lost out on a $22 million payday after Heard published a Washington Post op-ed. Uh, it did not identify Depp, but clearly branded him as a domestic abuser. So, you know, and they say here, you know, Depp said he felt he was guilty until proven innocent with Disney executives. Pretty obvious that that was the case as well, like we know that. Uh, original pirate script writer Stuart Beatty was the first to publicly confirm that Disney Studios were ditching the star in 2018 as they reworked the entire franchise. Uh, and they said, uh, you know, uh, basically, yeah, it's a reboot, so Depp's not going to be in it. Uh, nodding when it was suggested that Depp was out, he said, I think he's had a great run, obviously. Uh, he's made that character his own, and it's become the character he's most famous for now. Uh, and kids all over the world love him and the character, so I don't think it's great for him. Uh, I think it's been great for him, sorry. It's been great for us, so I'm just very, very happy about it. Uh, now, apparently there's like two scripts, one with him, one without, uh, you know, all this kind of stuff. As it stands, though, like, is this legit? Probably not. Pro probably not. The thing is, is that there's not enough information to quantify that $300 million, right? This is the original source. Uh, pop topic, right? Like, who we, like, who are they? No, no one knows. Um but this $300 million figure doesn't make any sense. It literally doesn't make any sense at all. Um, and also it's because he literally says $300 million and a million alpacas. So it's like, well, they're just probably playing on that uh, as a bit of an SEO. However, although I believe this is... That, I, like, I firmly believe that's complete nonsense and they've just made it up. Um... But what I will say is, are they potentially trying to coax him back? Yeah, I think that there would be the potential for that. Again, the, the writing's on the wall here. They have actually been using his likeness where they haven't been before, using his voice, all this kind of stuff. They completely removed him. He was gone. And they're slowly phasing him back in. By and large, it's all because of the public. The public obviously have you know, been drawn to uh, the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial and obviously... You know, drawn more to Johnny Depp than Amber Heard for very clear, obvious reasons. But this would be interesting, be very, very interesting. And, and I, do, I do think the first studio to publicly back Johnny Depp will get the public support. And Disney need that. Disney needs the public support because they are not doing particularly well at the moment. They're, they're genuinely not. And then loads of people will be like, oh, of course they are, they're Disney. No, go and have a look. Like, their stock's like dog shit. The movies that they've been releasing re recently haven't made money. In fact, they've lost money. So they do need the public to be on their side. So that would be a good business move. Are they that smart? Who knows? Let me know your thoughts, though, down below. Also, ladies and gentlemen, consider checking out my Teespring store. Supporting the channel via this way does go a long way. But also, not only that, you do get to wear some awesome merch. These are one-of-a-kind designs designed for me. By my graphic designer, we of course have our Clown World line, which is uh, in mugs, hoodies, t-shirts. We've got Space Jeebus. Uh, and then for something a little bit different, we of course have right down at the bottom right here, we have our Pulsar GTIR. 
Also, ladies and gentlemen, consider checking out and supporting my second channel, which is Car Nonsense. This is a vlog and car channel. You can find links to this in the description box along with my Teespring. Please do consider supporting.